In this video, we're going to deal with the electrical potential for a point charge. The electrical potential for a point charge is a formula that's a special case. However, because any other charge distribution could in theory be found by summing up the contributions of a point charge, just as we did, for instance, in the case electric field, this turns out to be a very useful and very practical formula. And the other advantage, of course, when you add up the solutions for a point charge system is that we're adding scalar numbers, so we don't have all the trig that you get with electric field. The electrical potential due to a point charge of charge Q at a distance R from some point in space is given by the formula that the voltage is equal to K times the charge over the distance to the charge. This has an assumption. I didn't write a change in V. That's because I've chosen R equal to infinity as the zero electrical potential reference point. Now, what does this physically mean? What this means is that if you had a charge Q right here, so there's my charge Q, and you had some other charge out here at infinity, let's call that a little red charge and you were to bring that charge in from infinity to some point P that's at a distance of R from the other charge this distance R so now I've got my little charge here it would take some work because I'd be working against the electric field. If I took the negative of that work and divided by Q, then I would get this formula. That's just the definition. So I calculate the work in going along this path. I take the negative of that work, divide that by the Q of this charge that I brought in, and that's equal to delta V, which is V of R minus the potential at infinity. If I call the potential at infinity zero, then I found the voltage at point R. So you're going to attach your negative lead at infinity, and you're going to take your positive lead and put it right here. This is the value that you should read. Okay? Now, very useful formula. Remember the Q is here. This is at the origin, if you will. This R is the distance from the charge to the point where you want to measure the electrical potential. And this K is our 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. Looks very similar to the electric field, except it's not a vector and it's not squared here. It goes linearly with the distance in the denominator. So it's a 1 over R potential. Let's use this to do an example. It says calculate the electric potential at a point P, which is located at x equals 0, y equal minus 4.5 meters. So here's point P right down here. It says that there's some charges, and the charges that I have in the problem is a 6 nanocoulomb charge here located at 0x 0.15 meters y and a minus 4 nanocoulomb point charge at minus 0.45 meters in the x and 0 meters in the y. Now remember we're talking about potential. These are scalars so V is the voltage due to charge 1 and the voltage due to charge 2. In charge 1, I'll call this charge 1, I'll call this charge 2. Charge 1 is a 6 nanocoulomb charge that's located this distance right here, which is 0.6 meters. So this is R1, and it's 0.6 meters. R2 is a little harder. It's this diagonal, and it's an isosceles triangle, so it's going to be 0.45 meters square root of 2. That's R2. So I have the Q's, I have the R's. All I have to now is use our formula and sum up the answers. So V1 is equal to 
6 by 10 to the minus 9 coulombs times k, 9 times 10 to the 9th newton meters squared per coulomb squared. All of that divided by 0.6 meters. 9 times 6 divided by 0.6, that's going to give us 90 volts and a positive 90 volts. For the second voltage here, for V2, that's going to be equal to minus 4 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs times 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meter squared per coulomb squared. And then on the bottom, I'm dividing by 0.45 meters times the square root of 2. And I get a total of minus 56.6 volts. So the total voltage would be 90 volts plus a minus 56.6 volts. And I get 33.4 volts. So much easier to do voltage calculations than it is to do calculations that involve electric fields because it's not a vector, it obeys scalar math. Alright, that finishes this video.